So how does using your bank card help your memory? Well, if you take a look at your bank card right now, but don't worry, we can use this one I've got up here, you'll notice it's chunked in four digits. Now, the reason that is, is because science has shown that our short-term memory can, has a limit of two to four pieces of information. Now, we can actually hack that. We can actually remember up to 16 pieces of information by using chunking. For example, on your card, you have 16 digits, but they've managed to break that up into four chunks, so therefore, God forbid you lose your bank card, you'll be able to remember your number. Now the reason why this is important is because we're looking at the short term to long term memory. Now if you picture your brain as the Amazon warehouse, there's a lot of boxes. And that is all your short term memory. But what happens is that there's little forklifts that come along, that's the hippocampus, and it decides whether or not it's important. If it's important, it will take it out of the short term memory and store it into long term section. So you need to understand how do we take something from short term to long term when chunking. And by doing so, we need to prove to our hippocampus that it has importance and relevance. Using visual images will actually assist that because it will stick out in your memory. Your brain wants to be efficient. On a daily basis, you see hundreds of messages, information thrown at you, and your brain doesn't want to remember all that. So it's actually quite efficient by removing bits of information that isn't necessary. 